It's one of those once in a lifetime things, really, to get six longtime friends together that live 6,000 kilometers apart. So it's been a long time coming. We planned this trip for quite a while. And everybody that was there that night is uh, here. guys doing looking for moose hurry up I know, I show up three hours late and you guys have crushed the fish. We did crush the fish. Double header after double header. The best part is you've done it nice. before my dad gets here. <laughs> that is perfect. That is the best part. Because he'll be so old, full of it that he's the master. Well, he kind of is the master, I know he is. but not anymore because he shows up three days later. Yeah, no matter how hard he fishes when he gets here, we already have the first ones in the boat. Yeah. Plenty of double headers, like you said, and now we've got the good luck for the moose. You guys have crushed the fishing, and now we just gotta do the same with the moose. All right, let's get after it. Let's get her. After it. All right. The boys were slaughtering the fish right in that little bay where we hiked in. Yeah. For a day, yeah. Gonna be a nice one, for sure. It's been a challenging few days. We seem to be in amazing country. We're seeing a little bit of fresh time, but we're not getting a response to the call. We're not hearing any grunting. We're not hearing any cows calling. We haven't seen a moose. It's challenging that way. You, know, you do the best to put yourself in a, a position or a place that is gonna give you a great opportunity. And it's not materializing to this point. So that's a little bit disheartening considering we're in the middle of, you know, September when the moose rut should be on, especially with these cold nights. Everything is lining up perfectly other than, <laughs> other than we're not seeing any moose. So. Yeah, it's a bit frustrating. What, day three? And uh, haven't seen anything to date. This is an amazing vantage point for sure. You would think that if there's anything traveling through here, any bulls looking for cows, like we will pick it up here. Just keep positive and keep moving forward. Put some time in, that's all we can do. What a day already. Like it's just like unbelievable. I can't believe how clear it is. If those guys haven't seen anything today at all, then it's time to really evaluate what's going on here. It's one thing if you're out here and the weather is complete crap, but this is not our situation. Our situation is the conditions couldn't be any better. Hopefully they see something if they go back behind the tents. Gang's all here waiting for you, brother. Right on, boys and girls. No lack of firewood, that's for sure. No. Nope. Hold that, please. Is there anybody with you? Gang's all here now. Officially. I feel like a tourist. I've got my camera ready. <laughs> Smile, say camera. There we go, boys. Jeez. Right on. <laughs> How are you doing? It's going good. Good. Yeah. You found the landing all right? That oh, was beautiful. Yeah? No problem. Good to be back in the shack Camera. there. <laughs> How are you, bud? What do you think, son? How was the flight? Let's Give her. go. First time on a little plane? 
should go out on something that small. Maybe they're the Air Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Bring her up front. Good seeing you, buddy. buddy. Yeah, buddy. Long haul. Oh, it wasn't too bad. Where is your uni? Did you bring it? No, oh, yeah, I got it. All right. For sure. Guess the last time you see me, I was all beat up. Look at me. I'm looking good now. <laughs> it's awesome. We went out this morning. The fog lifted off. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah Catch any fish? Not this morning. A lot of pike. Is it pikey? Oh. oh. What do you want us to do? Oh, good size. Oh, that's not good. Because I don't have the equipment for a pike. Back for the evening hunt. This morning was awesome, dead quiet, perfect conditions. Didn't see anything. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back into the same area, get the evening hunt in. Just maybe that'll be like a place that we spend a few days just calling there and just work that area. They gotta come through. We're standing on a trail on the side of the lake here that is, it's literally like a cattle trail to the trough. Yeah, it looks like a great spot. So we'll get in there and do some glassing. Calling. Go. Let's go. Okay. starting to run into one another. It's been challenging hunting for this time of year, really. Although last night was the first evening we got into moose, so they're not coming to the call, or certainly the ones that we saw. The young bulls did not come into the call. Bumped the one, so I didn't expect, and he winded us, so I didn't expect him to come in anyways, but he did get hung up. We just have to find the cows, and we gotta find the big bull, and just keep rolling day after day. I don't even know what day this is anymore. It doesn't really matter, we just keep going. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back to where we were last night. Um, so we're a three kilometer hike to the next lake. We've got Brian with us, so there's five of us all together, and we'll call from there and, and hopefully return something out. glass at the moment. We're not looking at moose. No, we're not. There's a big boar grizzly on the other side of the lake and just cruising through. There's so many blueberries in this country that he's just feeding and walking and he's a big bear. Oh man. How cool is that, fellas? That was awesome. Great. <laughs> oh man, he's huge. Yeah, it's a big boar. Just cruising, eh? That's your classic grizzly right there. It's that time of day when not a lot's going on. Oh, that's been all day. 
<laughs> other than a bear. Other than the grizzle. Got some excitement for a while. Yeah, no, it's good. Hopefully they're down there somewhere and stand up in a couple hours. We'll just keep glassing and we'll find them. Exactly. We're running out of time, fellas. That grizzly bear was on the wrong side of the lake. Oh, he was on the right side. If he was right here, we would have a grizzly bear right now. Are you enjoying the sun? It's nice. First sun we've had all day. <laughs> it's been a struggle today. I thought we'd see something for sure. I can't believe we didn't see anything. So we came here with high expectations and unfortunately we never saw anything today except for a huge grizzly bear across the lake. Which was pretty cool. The first one I've ever seen in real life, so that was quite an experience. I think tomorrow we'll just change the game plan a little bit by the sounds of it and spend a bit of time on the lake. Craig's dad's been doing some calling, so hopefully we'll go around the lake and see something there. It's great getting out today with uh, both Brian and Greg, so you get to spend some time with guys we haven't seen for a long time. They can't get away from you. Let's just say that, so it's been, a, it's been a good day. We're in an area here today where the other Greg and I were glassing the past three days, so it was kind of cool to get to put boots on the ground, uh, something we've seen from higher elevation. Spent a lot of time here today, all day. Uh, rain, sleet, a bit of sunshine to end the day. All in all, great day. Right where that rock is on the shore, that's where we'll pull in over there somewhere.
steel. Your gold check times two. Okay, here we are. The evening hunt looks gorgeous tonight. Hoping for a good uh, sign, maybe a good showing with uh, some bigger bulls. I know they've seen some smaller bulls here on the previous uh, days. So uh, tonight we're out with uh, Greg and Art, and it's the first time for me to be out with the guys. So far we've just been out fishing and uh, scouting from some higher elevations to try and see what we can uh, see. Um, we've been uh, out uh, in this area previously and uh, we have seen some good signs, some smaller, younger bulls, and we're hoping for, uh, for a bigger bull uh, tonight. This morning he must have come down like right here and then walked all the way around. And we were parked over there. I think Greg's thinking that might cross between the two bays. So last night, just at last light, some of the guys saw four moose, two bulls, two cows. So we came back out to try to pick them up and they're still in the same spot. And they're right out in the open right now. I can't, Gregory, you got your radio on? I can't tell. Yeah, we see them up there. Okay. So we can see them now. I can't tell how good the one bull is yet. It's not light enough and sitting in a boat without a spotting scope is not easy. But we found them, so now it's just a matter of making sure that they're the right ones and making a plan. We see two of the four that they saw last night. Looks like a bull for sure. Can't really tell what the other one is just yet. I see three moose, but I can't see any antler yet. They're in the willow, it's pretty high. Cold's bringing them down off those lakes, I guess, eh? You see a Mac? And down to the left, one in that willow patch. Is that a bull as well? I can't tell exactly what they are yet. There's just too much fog over the lake. It was cold last night, so it's probably minus three, which is creating ground fog over the lake, making it a little bit challenging to see the moose, but we get glimpses of them walking in and out of the willow. So they're up there and they're moving around. Yeah, we've had a couple good cold nights, so it seems like we're getting a little more action and closer to camp, which is favorable for everybody, yeah. <laughs> for sure. So. And here comes that sun see right now. See breaking through, so yeah. hopefully we get a good look at these guys shortly and come up with a plan. Yeah. Is there one in the willow, like in the middle, and then one up even higher, or is that a rock? I only see one bull, Greg. The one's moving to the right hard, you see him? He's right behind the spruce. So we're gonna head for that tree, and we're gonna hit the next ridge straight behind it, and then we're gonna take a left, and we're gonna walk towards those moose. You got that? Yep.
Rasher kya? Rasher kya? I don't see him. He just went down already. Down. 